Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 30, Preferences. You can find your preferences by going to edit and down to preferences at the bottom. You can also use a quick command of shift control P. Now the preferences are in a very important place if you're having any kind of issues with the software. And I'm, what I mean by that, say if a tool is not performing the way it should or something is not working the way it should, the first thing I suggest doing is going and checking the preferences and seeing if all the settings look correct. Now, if you work on a desk or workstation that has many people coming in and out of it all the time, sometimes your preferences can get changed. So, once you bring up the preferences dialog box, every basically tool, um, drop down functionality of the whole software can sort of be adjusted, and there's many settings for each thing here. Now, I'm not going to go over in detail any specific one of these I'm just going to give a general overview and if you have any problems you can always leave a comment and I'll try to get an answer that for you or you can just sort of explore it yourself because most of the stuff are either check boxes drop downs or stuff that's very self-explanatory so the very first one under preferences is tools and this governs all your tools out of your toolbox now if we open shapes that will have all your shapes here one of the biggest problems that I've run into is um, having not having last use style checked because if you use have this tool's own style it has a default style or it can be changed if you want it to and that's what it's going to use every time now that's very handy if you're coming in and you know that every time you use that tool you're going to use you want the same style to begin with but most users want last style used so go in and always check and make sure that's done the same is for the pen and the um, the pencil and the pencil tool you want to make sure last used style is selected for those the next is the interface this is how to control your windows so when you have a pop-up like this dialog box this will help control how those open where they open the size they open the grids controls is more grid functionality for you to change things. Now here's the keyboard shortcut. This is a very interesting one because not only does it give you quick access to any of the keyboard shortcuts that you are looking for to do something with, but it also will allow you to import new shortcut files if you wanted to change something. It will allow you to export and of course you can reset. Now there's a ton of shortcuts in here. So it does have a search function built in behaviors are for when you're interacting with the software so how selecting objects it gives you options for that um, transforming objects some default selections for that now you know depending on your specific needs you'd want to go through here and check on this but the default setup for Inkscape is pretty good input output so these work on um, input devices like mouses um, tablets and pens and stuff like that if you're not getting the um, the response you want from the software especially using um, tablets or, or pens this is what I would go to look at the SVG output so this is some of the saving preferences that you have in here um, some color auto saving and then you can go to system um, the bitmaps, rendering, and finally spell check. So this was just a really quick sort of glance at the preferences. This is a really involved um, dialog boxes, and it has super functionality for the software. If you're having trouble and the tool isn't working right or something isn't working right, I highly suggest you open the preferences and you go to that tool and double check that all the check boxes seem to be um, selected the way you want them to. Please join us for Inkscape tutorial number 31. Align. Thanks for watching.